Welcome to New Possibilities. I speak truth to power without fear. So yesterday I saw a video and in the video you had a woman explaining why she is not pro-black. And I prepared a response to that video on my cell phone, but I have not posted it yet. And I may or may not post it, um, just depending on how I feel. You know, I think that some people may get it misconstrued and all that kind of stuff, and it may blow up into something bigger than what it is. So for that reason, I didn't post it. Maybe I'll change my mind later. But anyway, for this video right here, I want to define what it means to be pro-black. And also, I want to explain that I am unapologetically pro-black. I don't make any apologies for being pro-black. I don't try to skirt and run from it. I embrace it. I embrace my blackness. I embrace my people because I love my people and I love myself. So let's break down this phrase, pro-black. First of all, the word pro means for. It also means in favor of. It means favoring, championing. It means supporting. And when we break down these different terms used within that definition, we see that the word favor means to show partiality towards, to prefer. And the word support means to promote the interests of. It also means upholding or defending as valid or right. It also means to argue or vote for. Now, the word champion means to protect or fight as a champion. It also means to act as a militant supporter of, and it also means uphold. So when somebody is pro-black, that means that they love themselves as a black person. They love their people. And when you love yourself as a black person, that means you love your hair, you love your features, your nose, your lips, your skin complexion whether it's dark skin, brown skin, or lighter skin, you love yourself and you love your people. You love your African characteristics. You love your hair, your natural hair. And when you love your hair as it is, you love your natural state, you don't find any need to purchase some foreigner's hair and put it in your head in order to have some kind of self-esteem. When you love yourself, you don't call your brother crispy. You don't call your brother black because they are of a darker hue than you. You don't hate your skin and hate the skin of your, your other black people because it's darker than yours or lighter than yours. You embrace the totality of blackness when you love yourself, when you are pro-black. You love your skin. You don't cover your skin up with tons and tons of makeup in order to make yourself look like somebody other than yourself when you love yourself, when you are pro-black. When you're pro-black, you naturally prefer the black woman over all other women because you see the beauty in her blackness. When you're pro-black and you're a woman, you prefer the black man over all other men. When you are pro-black, you fight to protect your people. You use your voice to speak out for your people, to speak out against racism, to speak out against police brutality, to speak out against injustice, to speak out against poverty and mass incarceration and other problems plaguing our people. When you are pro-black, not only do you speak, you act by protesting, by marching, when you are pro-black, you are prepared to defend yourself and to defend your people by any means necessary. When you are pro-black, you use your skills, your, your education to benefit your people. When you're pro-black, you put your people first. You put the interests of your people first and foremost before the interests of any other group of people, before the interests of any other category in your life. When you are pro-black, you sacrifice for the people. You sacrifice whether it's wealth or your safety or your freedom, just like Brother Malcolm X and Martin Luther King, Nat Turner, Medgar Evers, and all those other people who gave their lives so that we could be free. That's what 
pro-blackness looks like. It looks like sacrifice. Pro-blackness is not a hustle to get money. Pro-blackness is not selling a t-shirt or selling a, a film or something like that. Pro Blackness is sacrificing for your people because you love your people, because you have a genuine love for the people. And pro-blackness is motivated primarily by love and not hatred. Pro-blackness is not calling someone a cocker devil or calling someone a um, evil albinoid. Pro-blackness is loving yourself enough that you don't even have to attack these other groups of people and make these negative labels against other groups of people. It means that you love your people so much that you are willing to fight to the very end for your people. And I'm someone who unapologetically embraces my blackness. I am pro-black and I'm proud to be pro-black. And there is nothing to be ashamed of when it comes to being pro-black. And, you know, people who profess their pro-blackness should be prepared to be held accountable. They shouldn't run from accountability by saying that they are not pro-black.